Hello friends, this video on application of integrals part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. Let's do the same thing for the eclipse. So we have to find the area bounded by this ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. I am solving this for a general equation. So in exams, if you get for some value of a and b, you can then solve it. So here is my ellipse. Here also, I'll try. I'll do the by the both approach. The first approach is I'll uh, take this small quadrant and I'll say area of ellipse is nothing but four into area of shaded region. Why? Because by symmetry they are into four paths. So. And then in this case also I'll take one horizontal uh, vertical rectangle and I'll say this guy is nothing but area of u integration of y dot dx where my y is varying sorry d dx to x is varying from 0 to a. So if you know here it is 0 0 and it is a 0. So x is varying from 0 to a. So you say 0 to a. Right. But I have to write y in terms of x. So y if you solve if you get from the same equation y square by b square is nothing but 1 minus x square by a square or y square is nothing but b square into a square minus x square by a square or y is nothing but b by a root a square minus x square cut plus minus anyway and if we will take the absolute value so plus minus doesn't matter for us so this becomes 4 into, I'll write here only, 4 into integration of b by a root a square minus x square dx a varies from x varies from 0 to a. So let's take b by a common. So this becomes 4b by a root of a square minus x square dx, correct dx, 0 to a. So we have to integrate this. We know how to integrate this. Same same uh, formula. So let's write here 4b by a. This becomes x by 2 root a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by a and this a where x varies from 0 to a. You put the values you get 4b by a. You put a is equal to a by 2 a square minus a square plus a square by 2 sine inverse a by a that is 1 minus 0 minus a square by 2 sine inverse 0. So this becomes this is 0 sine inverse 0 0 this is also 0. So what you get 4b by a into a square by 2 and sine inverse 1 is pi by 2 we know. This is if you solve 2 to 4 cancel a a square cancel you get pi into a b and that is we know that area of a ellipse is pi a b for the ellipse equation x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and there is my answer. So what we have done we have this bigger area and I didn't want to find the area of all this quadrant and my know by symmetry all are equal I found the area of 1 and I say the area of ellipse is nothing but 4 into area of the shaded region. I will do the same thing same question in the other way now where I will vary y. Same thing. Why I am doing the same questions in different ways? You can, you can get comfortable in the concept that you can choose any other option. You can either say x dot dy or say y dot dy. Both will give you same answer. So same thing here. We will say area of ellipse is nothing but 4 into area of red region and this guy is nothing but x dot dy integration of x dot dy now if you see y is varying from 0 to b please note earlier my x is varying from 0 to a but y is varying from 0 to b only y is varying from 0 to b correct now I have to write x in terms of y so same thing I can do x square by a square is nothing but 1 minus y square by b square or x square is nothing but a square by b square into b square minus y square or x is nothing but a by b 
to b square minus b square. Plus minus is there, but I can ignore that because I'm talking about the absolute values. So this becomes 4 a by b, right? Integration of to b square minus y square dy and y varies from 0 to b. So this guy is nothing but we know same thing. 4ab anyway is constant outside. So this becomes y by 2 root b square minus y square plus b square by 2 sine inverse y by 2. So if you are having difficulty in this formula, please watch my previous videos where we have explained how this integration works and we also given the proof of this uh, integration. So and this varies from 0 to b. So let's put the values here. So this becomes 4a by b y becomes b by 2 minus b square minus b square plus b square by 2 sine inverse b by a b by b minus y becomes 0 now 0 minus b square by 2 sine inverse 0. So this guy is 0 sine inverse 0 is 0 and this guy is 0 b square minus b square is 0. So this I am left with 4ab into b square by 2 and sine inverse 1 is pi by 2. This is nothing but pi ab and that is my answer. So if you see in both cases we got the same answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.